Karina Evans is in the studio with me right now. Hi. Hi. Congratulations. Thank you. So the Lip Set Award goes to a Canadian music video artist for their innovative and unique approach to music video art. Yeah, I guess that would be me. How are you feeling about it? <laughs> um, pretty crazy. Yeah. I was actually on a flight, landed, saw the email, and my response to the email from Taj and, and Adam, who had sent it to me, was like, wait, are, are, are you sure? What did I just win? Me? <laughs> <laughs> so pretty crazy. That's, I full, don't that's think... full Canadian right there, by the way. Like, to, to, to get something really great and go like, nah, it must have been another one. Must have yeah, been. it's definitely not Karina. No. The, the wrong one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's really awesome. And I, I don't think it's really set in until I'm sitting right here with you. Yeah? Yeah, until you said, you just said it. Well, let's take, let's take five seconds and just let it set in. Okay, let's just sit in silence and look at each other. Ready? (laughs) Does that in? I think so. I think so, too. (laughs) It says unique and innovative approach to music video art. Yeah. Does that feel like your approach? I mean, I definitely work to make every single thing that I do unique in its own way. Um, And I definitely put in a lot of work to make sure that it is that way. Um, So it's great that, you know, I'm being recognized in that way. When you, when you say you, you, take, you take that approach, what do you mean by that? Like when you sit down to, to create a music video, are you going, I just want to do something that's never been done before? I mean, I think we all, you know, want to do that. But specifically, the way that I like to look at it at is really that it's not about me. So specifically for music videos, you know, you have, you have the artist, you have the song, and I really research that artist. Even if I know the person, I research that artist I listen to their music. I see what they already put out there. I, you know, want to make sure that before writing it, it's our, I'm already on brand with, with who they are. Right, because some, some music video directors, they just, they have a vision. They're going to make their vision, and kind of the song is secondary. Yeah, I don't think it should be that way. I no. think um, what, what I, you know, the, the music videos that I try to create are tailored to the specific artist. Um, so I'll, uh, you know, first I'll have a good idea, a good grasp, about the person or the artist or at least the brand that they're trying to present themselves Mm -hmm. as or be on par with. And then I listen to their song over and over and over and over again. And in that process, I hope to at least land or write a concept that is true to them and not so much me. Like, yes, my style will be in there intuitively, instinctively, naturally. Yeah, because you you made it. Because you made it, you'll be there. Yeah, but really it's about them. Yeah, I understand. I really do try to not make the same thing for every single person. They are tailored suits for each artist. Are you, you know, you're younger than I am. Do you remember watching <laughs> music videos on TV growing up? Like, I watch much yeah. music all the time. Yeah. And, and like, I don't know if that passed you by. Like It, it, it probably would have if I didn't have old, older siblings. Right. So I owe it to my older brother and my older sister for just playing BET, playing much music, and me sneaking around the corner and watching. Because <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna ask you like, uh, that's a conversation that my friends and I have all the time. Is like, what is the, what is the state of the music video today? Because when I was a kid, it was the way I heard music. Like, yeah. it was the radio, kind of, mm-hmm. and mainly just watching much, much music yeah. all day. Yeah, and now we we just have it's a different kind of access. It's just it's immediate and it's you seek it out. You you seek it out and you curate your own. Whereas before it was put in front of you, and, and, and does that does that give you a? Do you have an added responsibility then to make something for lack of a better word pop, like be able to grab someone's attention as opposed to because because they're not going to see it unless they hear about it. Does that does that put a different onus on you as a director, as a creator? Um, totally. I mean, I I, I mean on one hand I don't just you know make something f- for it to, for lack of a better way of explaining it, go viral. Yeah, it, it's not like that. It's I hope that even in this age of such a short attention span, you will watch through the first five seconds because those five seconds grab you and you will watch to the end of maybe a six minute video. Mm-hmm. You know, it's mm-hmm. it's like kind of about changing that narrative and I guess approaching it differently so it's not, you know, here's here's what's hot right now. You know, here's what's gonna grab you. It's It's here's art. Yeah, I, I read this really interesting article the other day. It was essentially about how our brains have changed from when we started reading, when, when we cared about books first, and now yeah. we care about our phones first now. Mm-hmm. And it was that when we were cared about books, what good was was whether you could be carried to the next line, yeah. whether you could keep going and follow the next line. Yeah. And now our brains want to be grabbed. Yeah, it, it, what's good is if it can 
catch your attention. And I think what you're saying is it's a bit of both for you. It, ha- it has to be, but... It, it can't just be the grabbing. It can't just be the grabbing, of course, but at the same time, I I don't work to make pieces of art or tell stories so that you like it so that it goes it gets this amount of of views it's it's really it's for the art and and hopefully it touches you in the way that it touched me while making it Mm -hmm. you know hopefully i connect to you in the process of doing that that's fascinating you know you're the first woman to win this prize right i did know that (laughs) why is that well i think we all know why it is why well because access to creative fields in a male-dominated industry typically go to men wouldn't you say Mm -hmm. you know definitely but we are here and i should not to be the only one. Uh, what what drew you to music videos in the first place? I just want to run down your resume a little bit. I mean, mm-hmm. you've worked with, with Director X. Yes. Kendrick Lamar, Rihanna, Jay-Z, Kanye West, <laughs> one of the most important video directors of our time. How, how, did, how, how do you end up working with him? Um, it was funny. I, I was having a, a really good friend of mine. He's a music producer who's a really good friend of his. His name is Boy Wanda from Toronto. Yeah, it, it, Incredible it, 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 icon, producer. Yeah. Oh, a, a current icon. Yeah. Actually an icon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I was just talking to him about where I wanted to go, where I am now, what I'm unhappy with, how do I get there? And he said, here's Director X's number, his personal number. And I just was looking at my phone, and it was a moment of, okay, either – jump, take the risk, or sit in the same place you are. So I, I, I texted him. I said, this is who I am. This is what I do. I want to work for you. And he said, okay, come into the office the next day. I came in. I sat at, in a boardroom with him and, and Taj, his partner, his manager. Were you he, nervous? He, I was so nervous. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't go away. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I was so nervous, and, and the, they said, okay, show me your work. And at the time, I had – a zero dollar video that I had done. <laughs> I love and that. I, I love that. I love that term. Screen. A zero dollar video. It, I, it was no budget. I understand. Yeah, yeah I got no, no. I, I got it. <laughs> and but it's still that video is still really special to me because it does, you know, even technic, even if technically it's not um, there, it still represents my form of storytelling and and the stories I still continued to tell and work to tell, and I showed them the the um, music video and. That day, that evening, I started working, and it, it was just like that. <laughs> what did what do you learn from him? Everything. Yeah, like what? I think. Because I, I have a feeling it's more than just camera angles. It's more than just editing. Totally. Yeah. Um. Just despite. In the beginning, because I was interning for him from that moment, um, despite being writing, helping with concepts, writing treatments, learning all the technical aspects of the job. Um, I walk, I, I carry bigger, bigger things with me. One of the things that he told me, and he, he said to me, this is what Hype told him. Hype told him, he told me, you have to fight the feeling that you're not good. That's going to creep in your head. Always mm-hmm. fight that feeling because you have a responsibility. Man, I feel that's so hard to do. Yeah, but that's what makes us an artist. Mm-hmm. That's what makes him as good as he mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. and who he is, mm-hmm. you know, and that's what makes us human. Mm-hmm. We all have that, those those insecurities or doubts or, you know, little voices in our head. But you pain. have to fight them. I hear such intense gratitude in, in, in your voice here. Yeah. And that, that, because I want to talk about the video. I want to talk a little bit about the, the God's Plan video. If you're listening to this and you somehow haven't seen it, um, it's kind of the video that most people are talking about in the world right now. It follows Drake around Miami. He shares $1 million to unsuspecting people, paying for groceries and shopping sprees, writing a big check to the Miami Fire Department, handing out toys, just handing, handing people cash. We well, posted a video of you and Drake on set, and it just said the word grateful. What, do, what are you grateful for in that experience? I am beyond grateful. So honored just to have been able to tell that story and, and been a part of the telling of that story with him, with, you know, all the people that did it and, and to have been trusted to carry that out by Drake, by X, by Taj. That, I'm, I'm honored. 
you know, it, 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 it's not a job at that point, what he did and what, what happened over those, those four days and what's happening after the release of the video. It's, it's for lack of a better way of saying it. No, actually it's a good way. It's God's plan. You oh, know, if, if, it's if God's this, plan. This feels some sort of destined. Definitely. Everything happens for a reason. Kind Definitely. Of thing. Yeah. It it felt that way. So so, as challenging as the process was while shooting, it was in bigger hands. I see these pictures of him giving out money. Like it must have been just so amazing as a human to be there. Yeah, definitely. Just the the real, genuine reactions from the recipients. It really felt like I was a part of. It was it was ethereal. It was wasn't a job. Yeah. My job is to kind of go, well, what were you really trying to do here? You know, how how was this supposed to promote your single? How was it supposed to promote your video? But I got I did get the very rare in this industry because we live we are in a very cynical industry. Mm -hmm. We are in an industry that's obsessed with fame. Mm -hmm. And we're in an industry that prizes puts up selfies and wants a lot of likes for their selfies. Yeah. We can't deny that, right? Yeah. It's very it was very refreshing to see you guys make something that seemed to actually be somewhat benevolent I'm almost like kind of very Christian in some ways yeah it, it was that that was the heart of it all so, definitely yeah um 47 million views last I looked wow do, do you pay attention to that no <laughs> no I I learned of it this morning I didn't I haven't looked at the the <laughs> count the numbers uh, at the end of every video I see or in, in opening credit of every video I see a film by Karina Evans yes well tell me about that choice um, well, coincidentally, uh, it was the first, the, the same first ever music video that I did, I did put that at the end. Um, and then I had this moment of, maybe it was a Canadian moment, maybe it was a, a, a girl moment, it was, I can't take credit for all of that, I didn't solely do this. Right. I can't say this was a film by, by just me. And fast forward to in a editing session for one of the videos that I did. It's called Mumble Rap, um, Belly. Mm -hmm. It's the artist. I was in the editing Very session. Famous song. Yeah. <laughs> uh, X came in, and th th this is the best part of, of the job, like having X to be able to come in and give his input. Mm -hmm. You know, he came in just chopping it up, and he said, you have to put your name on it. And I said... I don't want to put my name on it. It's not about me. And he said, you have to put it, you, you have to put your name on it. You, you have a responsibility. You have to put your name on it. And we were kind of thinking about how I should, how I should put my name on it. And, um, I really want for whatever story I'm telling, whether it be a 30 second spot, whether it be a feature length motion picture for it to feel like a story for it to, express universal human themes of love and, and connection and and that is why I chose to return back to a film by it's it's funny to hear you say that because when I look at your when I look at your whole body of work which includes videos commercials a really moving art piece in the Black Lives Matter movement everything does seem Thank like you. everything does seem like it could have come from a feature film that and that's intentional yes yes um, you know apart from the story aspect, I really have to make sure that what, what you're seeing, my picture supports that story and, and nothing is hindering that. So it, I really work to tell it in the most beautiful way possible. And, and my style is, is uh, cinematic just because that is my influence. You're, and I breathe that. I take that in every day. Like what? what I'm what, on like Vimeo all day. What are you looking for? Inspiration. From where? Everything. Mm -hmm. It could be a fashion film. It could be a short film. It could be a, a music video, obviously. Mm -hmm. Everything. The, the way that, you know, other artists express themselves with, with color and, and, and how, you know, one director has, has taken a song that I like and expressed it through that concept. Everything. Just, just I want to constantly be learning. I want to constantly be growing and expanding my thought processes. But things are getting processes. things are getting wild now. I mean, you're winning this award. You have this <sighs> big viral video with with God's plan. I mean, a lot more people are going to be paying attention to you than ever before. 
if you want to right. have a couple of seconds to take that in, you can too. Right. Like your, <laughs> your, your, your voice in just a couple of weeks, even though you were already a very well-respected video director, your voice has amplified 30-fold. Mm-hmm. What, what, what are you hoping to say with that voice? I, it goes back to what I, w- what I was saying. Um, we're at such a pivotal point in humanity where having a voice and using that voice properly is so crucial. And I'm just learning of my voice, you know. I'm just learning of the power of it, and and I have now a duty and a responsibility to make sure that I'm I'm telling the right stories and making sure that narrative um, can speak to and can reach the the the, num- the numbers. And what I want to say, I, I don't have one specific message, but I want to make sure that with every story I'm telling, it it's it's. It's about what every real story is about, how that human heart changes, you know, and it can connect to you. And in, and in doing so, it, it, you see everything. Everybody is represented on that screen, you know, whether it's a music video or a motion picture. Yeah. Karina Evans, congratulations on the award. Thank you. <laughs>